Tell me how hard it was a couple of years back. I don't know how we got around to this conversation, but somebody started telling me that there was all these messy years in the life of Jesus. He was missing from the time he was 12 until he, he was 30. And I said, you mean, uh, like nobody knew where he was? He said, nobody. So that kind of like stuck in the back of my mind, you know, about nobody. One of the most influential and controversial figures in the history of mankind. Nobody knows where he was for 18 years. I snuck away on a fishing trip once with this waitress. Charlie, mm -hmm. people have said that you have powers, that you can make people do what you want them to do. Well, sure. Sure. That's true? Why, certainly. How so? By making them do what I want them to do. How do you do it? These two guys here with that stick. He has power with that stick to make me do what, what he tells me to do. So what's your stick? What's your stick? I've been under that stick 43 years. How do you make people do what you want them I to do? I just turn that around and give it back to you. What's your personal affair? What's the matter? Uh. Welcome to the adventures hey. of Tom Sawyer. Am I already famous? Don't you care about nothing else, you lummox? Fame is a vapor. The only earthly certainty is oblivion. Welcome to the mysterious stranger. The evil that men should turn their brothers into beasts of burden. When Jesus asks in one of the exorcisms, who are you? His res the demon's response is, we are legion. They are one. Who are they one with? Oh, they're one with Satan. And that's that sort of hideous attempt to remember and precurse in some way what is going to happen when Christ, when Christ prays at the beginning of John's Gospel. And he says, Father, let them be one as we are one, as you and I are one. <laughs>